public policies also here on health what is the public policies and public private partnership for eradication of so many diseases if you can create a model we will implement it and also there are some communicable diseases end to end if you can take up one example i am giving you if there are mosquitoes we can make a drone to detect then we can spray the what you call a pesticide medicine particular spot to eradicate mosquitoes can you make andhra pradesh and india mosquito free then so much of money we can save even amebiasis so many diseases we are seeing now even today water borne diseases all these things can you give spot diagnosis and action taken and controlling all these things and ultimately how to make a proof of concept in a big and reasonable scale state as a unit if you can do all these things i will be very happy you are having now good university also medical equipment uh, university linked with this some more project we can prepare with our hospitals diagnosis everything go for next step i am thinking big data analytics artificial intelligence how to use it in um, medical these things even apps even some people are doing with you your association can you make this center next level long back i started triple it they are not usual degree courses only post graduation phds and also designing products in information technology like that we had done now i want to go in a big way artificial intelligence university itself deemed university where bringing all companies going for next generation technologies with all these things what i wanted to work with you you have established reasonably very well we are very happy now any equipment you name people are prepared to come here because of your credibility and also infrastructure and success story now we will be attract best people globally to make medtech zone as a global hub as already it is a global hub and also we can make it unique global hub i will be very happy with you to work in the direction so today i am the person who is having happy very very happy with him when i have given so much of land so many people but they have proven to certain extent but with 275 acres he brought excellent name for the state and for the country i really appreciate him not only sharma ji who are all here by birth we are all ordinary by performance we are all become extraordinary in visakhapatnam nobody visualized it is a steel city now it is a medical zone manufacturing hub now one of the best airport is coming now visakhapatnam today i supervised bogapuram if it come then international connectivity also will be very easy logistics wise visakhapatnam is one city i can explain to you it is very near to my heart they trust me i trust them and also one of the most docile people 
very good people what all i have done for them always whenever i come here i to do good work for them during covid 8 days or 10 days i stayed here only after fully recovered then i left this place because of that udhud because of that 2019 election 